Hey guys, it's Jackson here from Titanic Games, and today I'm going to be showing you how to, uh, a, the first part of creating a jetpack for our characters. Now, I am continuing off of the previous tutorial I did on flying, so um, there will be a little bit of overlap with that one, so if you want, you can check that one out, um, but you should be able to follow right along uh, either way. So, let's get right to it. Um, so. What I want to do is I'm going to go find our uh, character blueprint. Let's open it up. And again, I said from the previous tutorial I was doing some work. So um, here we have some flying or some movement and functionality for um, making our character fly. Now we are actually going to be using all of this for our jetpack now. So, um, but first, before we get into that, let's let's make our character's jetpack. So. How we're going to do this is we're going to add a component and I'm going to choose static mesh and let's just call this jetpack. All right, just like that. Now I'm going to make it a you know, basic cube and it's going to look ridiculous right now, but that's okay. Um, and I'm actually going to uh, just scale it a little bit. Let's you know, shrink it, you know, maybe bring it in like that. Resize it some more. All right, there we go. And then I'm going to parent it, or sorry, make it a child of our mesh, right? So attach it to it just like that. And then I'm going to, in the parent socket, I'm going to set it to the spine. How about spine two? Um, and you can see it's a little wacky right now. Uh, just reset everything. And now we can start, you know, moving it around a little bit on our own. So I'm going to hit E to rotate. Oops. I'm going to rotate it a bit, uh, move it this way, that'll be good, um, hit W to move it, I drag it out to about there, it's, gonna, it's looking kind of like a jetpack maybe, <laughs> sort of, raise it a little bit, so there we go, we've got a bit of our jetpack, I mean just to check it out, you know look, there it is on our character, we've got our jetpack, so woohoo. Now, next what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little particle system that will play whenever we are actually flying. So to do that, I'm going to add a component, go to particle system, and this will be our um, jet engine. We'll just call it that for lack of better words. Now, what I'm going to do is drag that and drop it and attach it to our jetpack. Compile and save. And now let's let's go and set what it's going to be. So right now I have all the starter content enabled. So if I click, you know, here by template, you can see I've got some ambient dust, an explosion, some fire, smoke, sparks, and steam. So what I'm going to use um, is the sparks. So I'm just going to select that. You can see there it is. It's just shooting out some sparks right now. If I pull it out, there you, you can see it. Um, and I'm actually going to turn it 180 degrees. So you can see those values up here. Um, and just turn it until it's like flipped around upside down perfect and then we'll just drag it until it is up and underneath our uh, our jetpack so that that should be good I think so if we compile and save check it out there it is it looks like it's doing some you know some jetpack stuff maybe kinda cool um, you know you could add more you could add your own effects too um, really whatever works for you so I'm just going to move it right there actually scooch it alright good enough good enough so next what we want to do is well we want to make sure that it's not on by default so in the details panel we can scroll down and we'll see this little thing here that says auto activate so we're going to want to untick that so it's not automatically going so if we check it out you know we don't have it on right now because we're going to activate it ourselves so let's go to the event graph, and how we're going to do this is, well first, let's get rid of our flip-flop, because um, how we're going to handle it is whenever um, we are pressing on the F key and holding it, we want to you know fly in our jetpack, and then whenever we release, we want to drop. So connect, connect pressed to set movement mode to flying, and then connect release to set movement mode to walking. And now next what we want to do is drag in our jet engine particle system 
and simply drag off and say activate. And we are going to activate the particle um, off of pressed, right? So whenever we press it, the particle will start playing. Now, um, on the flip side of that, we want to deactivate it whenever we're not pressing it. So simply deactivate, uh, oops, hook it all up, file and save, and now just to test it out, if we press play, press F, you can see there are our sparks are playing, and then when I release, it stops. So perfect. Now, um, now it's time to actually add our movement, right? So we do have this event right here, this axis event called move up. And if we go to our project settings, you know, right here, um, I'll shortly get to that again. Go to edit, project settings, input, and then you can see it. Um, so right now, this axis event move up is bound to the Q and Z keys, right? Um, but we don't actually want that for this. So what we're going to do is we're going to delete one of the keys and then for the other key we want to type F and then click choose F and make sure the scale is still 1. Now the reason behind this is that um, in our third person character whenever we press F you know we want him to start moving up and I mean you could you could you know, do it, um, you know, add the movement input and everything over here somewhere and, you know, kind of mimic the same um, axis movement, but I just find that it's pretty easy to just do this instead. Um, and also, on a side note, if you want to still have some kind of flying movement besides a jetpack, um, you could add a new axis mapping and do the same thing. So, anyways, so now that that's working, if we press play, and hold F, you can see we start going up. And then when we release, we fall. F, start going up, release, we fall. So that's all perfect and you know fine. And if you if that's all you want for your game, then you can stop here and thanks for watching. But if you want to see how to you know kind of limit limit um, how how long you can fly in the air, then uh, I will show that now. So over here, what we're gonna want to do is um, we want to set a timer. So that says when this timer is, you know, when this timer runs out, then we want to stop. Um, we want to stop flying. So drag off of activate and say set timer. Set timer by event. All right, and we're gonna want to drag off of this event node and say custom event. Let's call this um, um, out of fuel. Right. Let's just say we're out of fuel. And now I'm going to set this to uh, five seconds, and then not going to set it to looping. So basically, when we press our key, it's going to activate our particle effect. You know, make us fly. You know, because it's also being bound to this. And then um, it's going to set this timer that only allows us to fly for five seconds. So what we need to do then to make us stop flying after five seconds is take everything from released and just put it on the end of there. So you can drag and select it all, just like that. And then just do uh, Control W to duplicate it. And we'll move it up. Just reorganize a little bit. Hook it up. Now compile and save. And if we press play, now I'm going to hold F. And as soon as, I, um, as soon as the timer's up, it will automatically stop me, just like that. And then you have to press it again you know, to start flying. Now, um, you know, the, the downside of this is that um, when the player runs out, they could immediately press, press it again and, you know, kind of cheat the system sort of and keep flying. And so um, in the next video, I'll be showing how to kind of hook it up to a um, fuel system, right? And um, it's very similar to the way that I did the sprinting uh, with the stamina bar and everything, um, except this will just be for fuel. So, um, yeah, there it is again, you know, having some fun flying around, kind of cool. Here's all the code again. Oh, just, there's all of this. And then again, the movement up. All right, so that's everything. Um, if you found this tutorial helpful and want to see more, you know, consider liking, subscribing, or whatever. And I will see you in the next one.